Hi, this is Randy Rosetta with Ron Higgins from NOLA.com and the Times-Picayune. Big day for LSU basketball on one front. They're still waiting on another. Johnny Jones broke down the season. A lot of information today. Jarrell Martin's leaving for the NBA draft, which I don't think shocks me or you or anybody else. I think that we saw that coming. Jordan Mickey's still undecided. And you and I have talked. We both talked to people we know. It sounds like he's getting a lot of advice to come back to school. Uh, Johnny Jones didn't talk about it much. I think he's given him his space. Johnny did talk a lot about the season, uh, how things played out. He's optimistic about the future. Got a great recruiting class coming in, depending on what Malik Newman decides. It could be extraordinarily great. What did you take away from what Johnny had to say about the season, first of all? I don't think he thought he had a good season, and he did have a good season. You, anytime you go to the NCAA tournament, you have a, you have a good season. Uh, it, it was another step forward in his program. Third year, you make another step forward. Also, the fact uh, and people overlook this a lot, they won 22 games with no bench, with no bench. That's a no, no bench play whatsoever in 22 games. And I thought that was pretty good. Jordan Mickey's, uh, uh, was got tired because of uh, all the minutes. There's a lot of guys that got tired. That played into the end. And, of course, Jarrell got so much better in the last month of the season with where he is now. All that said, I mean, this is the way college basketball is now. Uh, it turns quicker. Uh, if you're any kind of great championship program, you want to be that way. You've got to recruit guys who are going to leave after a year or two. And this is where LSU's kind of at right now, which is not a bad thing. And th something Johnny said I thought was important is you have to have role players. They've got guys now that have been here, didn't play much now, have to start being those role players. Aaron Epps, Brian Bridgewater, Darcy Malone, all those guys have to kind of come in and fill the little gaps. They've got a decent starting crew coming back. They've got Ben Simmons, they've got Antonio, they've got all the good parts. They kind of need the nuts and bolts to fit in there. You mentioned this season. It wasn't, I thought it was a good season. It was another stair step for them. Three years in a row, I believe it's the first time they've had three winning seasons in a row since the early 1990s. The only thing is it was the inconsistency. I've written this several times. I know it was probably hard to be an LSU fan because that's, this team took you to the mountaintop and then broke your heart. It was an ongoing thing. That's part of being young. That's Kentucky's the only team I've ever seen recently that avoided, and even they had some ups and downs, but they had so many players they could kind of mask it. Yeah, and it's important, as Johnny said, that you do have some some juniors and some seniors to kind of uh, give you leadership to make it uh, for the young people. But I really believe just the lack of a bench hurt his options so bad. When you have a bench for guys playing bad or not doing what you want, you can go yank him. You couldn't yank guys this year, and then that's why when you saw LSU have these runs where they dipped, well, the guys were screwing up, and you really couldn't pull them out of the game because you had no options. So you have to, you had no choice but to play through them. And sometimes you won those games, and sometimes you didn't. You know, I'm sure in the NC State game, there were times where in the second half, if he would have had options, he would have gone to them, but he didn't. So you just kind of play through and hope you survive the end, and, and unfortunately, you, you didn't. And you, so you move on the next season and, and hope you're, you're, you know, develop your bench deeper, bring in more talent, and the, the beat goes on. I'm glad that that's a good segue because I did want to, not want to forget New Orleans' son, Craig Victor, because I think he's a big key for LSU next year. As good as Jarrell Martin and Jordan Mickey were, all SEC guys, great physical tools, neither one of them had a great mean streak. Everything I've heard about Craig Victor is he will go out there and he will play. He will not take much grief from the money. He's got talent. He's got skills. He's going to bring something that they've lacked this year. I think they've got many more parts. Give Johnny that option to move guys in and out. Maybe not that Kentucky level. I don't know if anybody will ever be that Kentucky level again. But I think they're going to be a team that can compete in the SEC. Let's switch gears real quick. Jarrell Martin's leaving. You know, a lot of people are saying, well, he's not ready. He needs to improve this. Jarrell Martin's ceiling is still way up there. And I think the quantum leap he took the last nine games of SEC season, the quiet leadership he finally showed, the kid's ready. If he's projected as a first-round draft pick, you go. Once Jarrell Martin realized that he's a 6'10 power forward, not a 6'10 guard, he was really good. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, for all last season and for part of this early this season, Jarrell would just hang outside and shoot threes, and basically if he didn't never got anything going, well, it just happened. Finally, when he figured out, you know, I can put the ball on the floor and get past people and play really, really well, and my offense starts from there, and everything fell into place from there. He was tremendous. He showed toughness. Uh, I mean, he finished strong. He would, uh, I mean, you, you want to know one difference between uh, Jordan and, 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 uh, and Jarrell is Jarrell 
could finish in a crowd because she has really strong hands. And that's something, you know, when you start picking apart Jordan, some of the things that pros are looking at, can he finish in a crowd? Does he have one more one move more than a spin, a spin move? Uh, can he hound the ball? And, you know, as good as Jordan is in a lot of areas, that's a, a check, 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 no, no, no. And it's something he needs to look at. And I think he will. Whether he comes back, whatever evaluation he gets, I think LSU's the deck is loaded well for next year. We'll have coverage on that for the next several days on NOLA.com and the Times-Picayune. This is Randy Rosetta and Ron Higgins.